I'm recording a second version of this with my hands much farther from the HoloLens so that the reprojection error in the video is not as extreme. So hopefully this looks better. Because to me, this looks pretty well aligned. But in the video it might come out strange because the camera is still not between the eyes, which is the most logical place to put it. Uh, so if I do my knot tying at a distance... So like this... Try some poses that are normally pretty hard. It's still just a latency problem for the most part. Um, I'll try some without the knot. So this pose is usually usually breaks these systems, but it's doing pretty well here. Oh, I'm close to the camera. Uh, over here. It doesn't like With the coffee cup. It still breaks it. It does not like this crisscrossing. I think it's really good at recovering the hands, at least, when they do lose tracking. Oh god, I thought it wasn't recording. You can see a little icon here that says whether or not it's recording. Um, what else? Lenin manipulators. I think these were pretty okay in the last video because I was pretty far, but they'll stay farther. So the distance between the fingers is actually pretty okay when you're squeezing it, which means that theoretically you should be able to know how squeezed this thing is, at least to some accuracy. Probably more accurate than with a shaft encoder. Uh, what else did I do? Let me test typing. I'll do some more posing here. Oh god. <laughs> that confuses it really badly. Anyway, they seem aligned to me. I, won't, I hope they come out okay in the video. Uh, let me try the typing. Last time this took forever to open for some reason. I keep trying to just push it to move things around, but you have to squeeze. Or you have to, like, pinch. Okay, so. Well, I guess the hands aren't visualized, so this isn't going to help, so I'll stop the recording here.